do it. You scrawled on this video to do it. It's your boy, Daddy Scobar Dreamer. Y'all, we back with another big body banger. banger. You feel me? Listen, you know what I'm saying? Today, we finna be watching some crazy stuff. You know what I'm saying? If you guys don't know what the dark web is, the deep web, you know what that is? That's me just casually on this million dollar production scene putting in eye drops. You know what the dark web is? The scary stuff. No, the dark web or the deep web is basically like he be selling organs, kidneys, dead bodies, all this type of stuff. That's what, what? they be selling on. It's like, it's like the internet, but like for like Smugglers, kidnappers. Um, oh, I thought it was like what people say they go watch porn on. No, people do that on regular, regular Google Chrome on their phone. <laughs> some people do it on a something. What no, is it in incognito. Yeah. They just don't. They don't yeah, save exactly. your browser history. Yeah. But the dark web is like another. It's a. It's a deep. You know oh, okay. It's I like, didn't know that. That's like where smugglers go. Um, like they sell, try to sell legal guns. From the movie, body watching, parts. Like the dark yeah, web. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But we finna be watching some 10 dark web videos you should never watch. Obviously, we're watching it. And obviously, I did turn the video uh, brightness down. Well, I turned our light down so it looks a little bit more scary. Destiny is a very big scary cat. Destiny seems like a tough person on the outside. All that stuff. But Destiny is probably one of the scariest people you've ever met in your entire life when it comes to anything other than... I don't know. You're just scared of ghosts. You're scared of, like... She's scared of jump scares. She's scared of spiders, bugs. She just, she's just a big scared. I don't think we should watch this in the house. That's me. My God is bigger than whatever the heck this You're is. Right. You know what I'm saying? He right. wouldn't let nothing happen to me. And he won't let nothing happen to you because he's connected to me. Should, you shouldn't feed your spirit. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't eating this. I ain't eating it. You talking about feed your spirit? I ain't. My spirit ain't eating this. Shut up, boy. Anyways, you finna watch this lady like right now if you want more reaction videos. Oh, shout out the person that actually sent me this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, shout he didn't forget to shout y'all out, but I reminded him this time. <laughs> what did you remind me? What? Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to X James underscore for this video, you know what I'm saying? If you guys want me to react to anything in specific, hit me over there on Instagram, at Juver underscore if you want me. It's not even over there. I'm gonna put it over there. <laughs> That was not funny. It's not even over there, though. But if I react to your video, I shout you out. You know what I'm saying? If you want a special shout out, then I got you. And if not, you know what I'm saying? Bada bada boom, bada bada bing. But before we get into this video, man, Drew and I come my two third free balance. They said, at this point, I'm just stalling. Destiny, Destiny, stalling too. She's trying to get freaky. Calm down, girl. I ain't thirsting too much. Bro, I'm thirsting. You ain't stop. Boy, don't, don't do my face. Don't do your face. I'll do anything I want to do to your face. No, you won't. I want a batch. Put right, a shirt me, on. That's me thirsty right now. You gotta calm down. Okay, here. That's me. We ain't gonna talk about how you be drink. 24 hey, 7. Drink. Mm -hmm. Drink the water. I am thirsty. Move. Yeah, I know you is. I can tell. <laughs> Titties. Stop, man. <laughs> All right, let's just get into this. Stop stalling. That's me. You stalling right now, bro. You ready? All right, all right. You on. ready? We three minutes until we ain't talking. They about say you now. can find anything on the dark web. Though why you would want to find any of the things mentioned on this list is beyond. I could tell this man's voice gonna piss me the heck off. I and hate him. He, he don't wanna do all the scary stuff. He be pissing me the. F <sighs> on me, number ten. This 11-minute video has been making rounds on the dark web for a while and has only recently come to the surface. In it, something human-shaped, wrapped in garbage bags, is taped up and kept in various strange poses in a chair, at the bottom of steps, and so on. Every so often, a man with a bag over his head comes in and fusses with the strange object. At one it. point, he even tries to give it food in the bathtub, despite there being no mouth hole. Towards the end of the video... What is this doing? What's going on? I'm not scared. He puts the object onto the kitchen counter and begins to carve into it. This video was filmed in black and white and has many different artistic camera angles. The dark web is full of many videos like this, but I guess every once in a while you could be looking at someone who is really acting out their twisted fantasies. On man, that man voice pissed me off. I'm finna speed it up. I'm finna speed it up. Playback yeah. speed, go to 1.25. Let's see if this feel better. I'm a real person. For all we know, this could be the aftermath of a- This feel, this sound better, right? Better. Facts. Red Room Video. Number nine, a YouTuber named Surviving Life finds a dark web sub forum dedicated to the most disturbing content imaginable. I can't even show you most of the thread titles, let alone what's in them. But I'll put it like this, the people here are looking- What? 
Read this, I wanna buy a human infant, we'll pay any price, must be reasonable. This is what be going on on the dark web, I'm telling you, Destiny. Wait, this it's, real? Yes, this stuff real. I'm telling you, Destiny, this stuff crazy. Looking for stuff that would easily Man, get your door kicked this? in by the cops. After going through a few pages, surviving life comes across one thread in particular that easily tops them all. I want to buy a human infant. I will pay any price. I don't know exactly how this person expects to buy an infant or how much a reasonable price is. Thankfully, surviving what life does not click do on the infant? link to find. I don't know. Destiny, why are you asking me? I ain't buying nothing. I just gotta find out. Drops. I did notice it seems to have four. Destiny addicted to eye drops? It's like your third hit in an hour. 14 replies though, Bruh, which leaves me with a terrible sinking feeling inside. You might think all of these requests are fake, but apparently Surviving Life has seen versions of this website before. Okay, and the name of this site is so infamous and the people on it. This isn't the first time they've put a site together like this. This is, this is a system where these sites go up, they go down, the content's moved. And, and provides us with some more insight about its long history. He soon grows too disgusted with all of humanity and logs off for the day. I think that the website is probably 100% real, but I would like to get your opinion based on this video evidence shown here. Number 8. This grainy black and white video was supposedly taken back in 1999, when the internet was still in its early stages of development. A woman has apparently been chosen against their will for a Red Room show, which is where people make suggestions as to what should happen to her next, kind of like a more interactive version of the movie Saw. She is clearly in distress, though I'm not sure if this is real or just acting. <laughs> This scene seems realistic enough to make me uncomfortable, but I'd like to get your opinion as to what is going on here. She could be a paid actress, and this could be from a movie for all I know. We may never discover the real answer, unless more of the video surfaces from the deep web. Number 7 Man, people are sick. What the heck is going on? You sad? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> see that? Then, another supposed Red Room video shows a person wearing a large hood over their face, looking down at the floor. I think the room is in pitch black and this was taken with night vision. After more than four minutes of uncomfortable silence, a man dressed in all black with gloves on wakes the person up and begins talking. Try to translate what is being said here if possible, so that we can better tell what is really going on. I don't know what he's saying. I don't know what the F the man is saying. He was supposed to put subtitles or something. Like, how did you just meet him? I don't know. Yeah. Like Whatever is said appears to send the hooded man into a great amount of distress. I notice that a voice changer is used, which makes me think this video could be real. After all, whoever is involved would want to go to great lengths to keep their identity concealed. I'm not sure what happened next, but based on the overall tone of this video, I doubt this person made it out of the room in one piece. Number 6. A YouTuber named Amir returns to the dark web after getting many requests from his followers to do so. The first thing he finds is a strange collection of texts promoting superhuman abilities through special muscle exercises. Overall, the detailed instructions sound really complicated, futuristic, and weird. Then at the bottom, Amir comes across a strange date of publication that leaves him scratching his head in puzzlement at the bottom. I want to scan that QR code. No. Don't do it? No. Destiny. <laughs> what you mean, no? No? Don't do it. Y'all don't do it either. If somebody does it because they ain't listening to me, just let me know what the heck it is. But don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Don't do it. But if somebody does it, yeah. very hard. He grows tired of reading the mountain of text and comes across this creepy dark website next. It's nothing more than a still photo of a man with huge black bags under his eyes, staring you down with that a knowing scary. grin. I don't recognize the photograph from any place, but I would like to know if you have. I am not making this up. <laughs> This is literally the page. There is apparently a secret place on the page you can click to proceed, but Amir can't find it and moves on to the strangest dark web discovery yet. Kidney for sale. She was price negotiable. Buyer pays for all travel, accommodation, and surgery costs. There are pages upon pages of organ donors looking to sell their guts for some quick cash. Based on the outrageous demand for organ donors and the long waiting list to get one, I have little doubt that this message board is real. The listings are quick, to the point, and highly detailed. Number 5. A YouTuber named ITGuru360 is making a tutorial about how to access the dark web when he comes across a cryptic video that he has never seen before. Long strings of binary code fly under the watchful gaze of a floating skull face. 
Some people say the skull somehow feels mesmerizing and that it was created to lull you into an altered state of mind. Don't look. Perhaps even insanity. Because it's, it's a hypnotizing thing. It is? Yeah, you dead looking at it. You can't look away? I got you. You done? How do you feel? Is it really trying to hypnotize me? I don't know. That's what he just said. If anyone can scared. translate this programming language into English, then please let me know. Oh, and as for this shape-shifting, strange face that's in the same video, I'm not even sure that I want to know. Somehow I doubt well, if that story is anything good. I don't know. Number wait, four. Wait, you saw it on the screen just now? Yeah. Destiny, it was not on the screen. You will lie. You make fun of the trivia. Tell me and Darcy Young decide to push their luck on the dark web and see what they can uncover. It isn't long before they discover a secret website meant for selling everything, including some really creepy items too. Soon afterwards, they find a website that is supposedly made by Russian hackers who can get into just about anything. It looks like their service costs around $2,000 on average based on current Bitcoin prices. You can even bring down a website for 24 hours for $12,000, but that hardly seems worthwhile. Something about this website design looks very amateurish, so I'm not sure it is real. Number three. You could have paid somebody to hack your, your, your college. Yeah, all the answers ain't past you, Destiny. Just give me a degree. Just huh? put my, just yeah, put just my put name your in stuff. Like you literally can hack do that. Yeah. You want to go on the dark web? No. You sure? No. It costs like $20,000. No, I don't want to see what they got going on. Okay. It's going to make me cry. Chloe Allying is a British supermodel who claims to have been taken and put up for auction on the deep web. She arrives at a sketchy studio in Italy only to be jumped from behind. My hand comes from behind onto my neck. Eventually they tap me to the floor and the syringe goes in and that's when it all goes black. She wakes up in the trunk of a car zipped inside of a black bag, take her to a secluded room and finally reveal her fate. He says, you've already been put up for sale. They put you up for sale? Yeah. Where? Uh, on the dark web. This is where the story gets kind of weird. She says that after six days, her captives did not want any money and felt bad, so they let her go. The lady capping. She cat right now, bro. She looking for clout. She cat. Ain't nobody letting somebody go that they kidnap. You know what I'm saying? You think she capping or she don't serious? Don't say that because I don't want you to have to go through it to make an example for you to understand. I guess this is possible, but when one of the men <laughs> was eventually caught, he said that she told him to do it as a way for her to get famous. Ah, 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 didn't I just say that? I just said that. You gotta believe me. People also say she does not look sincere in her press statement. I think she is probably telling the truth, but I'm not really sure what to think at this point. Number two, a YouTuber named Zer John pokes around on the dark web. Soon he finds himself reading some extremely bizarre tutorials that leave him stunned. You like tutorials on how to like eat people? Eat people? It's like it's a regular thing for these people. Look at this. Whole article on how to, you know, do that. I don't think Sir John would ever do anything like this himself, but as I watch his curious reaction to the materials, I Wait. Before getting to the main test, it must be mentioned that a complete rendering of the human carcass requires a fairly large amount of time, effort, and space. What? I would ever do anything like this himself, but as I watch his curious reaction to the materials, I can't wonder how many other people That's have been disgusting. actually introduced to this in exactly the same manner. Before we get to number one, That's my name is Chills, oh. and I hope you're enjoying my narration. If you're curious about what- Your narration sucks, my guy. Yeah, he's really the worst man in the world. Look like nah, in real life, and go to my Instagram at Dylan is chilling YT and I'm tap that done. follow button yeah. to find out. I it's recently done. released the music video for my song Dreamland, and we may have caught something paranormal at the 55 second mark. Tap the circle icon paranormal in the top right movie? corner. I don't like paranormal stuff. That's the only stuff that can scare me. I don't like like movies about. I think like, that's why I'm scared of stuff because that's the first scary movie I ever watched. Like, I, don't paranormal do, I, don't do, I don't do like paranormal stuff because that's like real. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. There's spiritual stuff in the world. But like that song and Freddy Krueger stuff, I don't care about that. That don't scare me. But the paranormal, I don't ride with the paranormal. I don't exactly. ride with paranormal. paranormal. Then tap the my music video and watch. let me know what you think it is. It's I'm a proven fact about. that generosity makes you a happier Shut person. Up, bro. So if you notified of it and began filming himself and upload every Thursday and Saturday. Hurry up! Number one. Kenneth Freeman began filming himself doing horrible things with his daughter Vicky sometime during the 90s. What? His terrible videos grew worse and worse for well over a year. As he became more elaborate and sadistic, he was sharing them online the entire time for many years. Vicky did not feel safe enough to report what was done to her for four years at the age 14. Her father fled all the way to China, but he was discovered and taken to trial one year later. He was sentenced to 50 years behind bars. 
Sadly, the Vic. Man, put that man under the jail. Bro. Under. Def, def man, put that word under the freaking jail. Ain't no freaking way, bro. P series continues to be traded online to this day and has become infamous among dark web sickos everywhere. It's disgusting to think how people are still finding pleasure in her grief all these decades later. But as long as the dark web continues to exist, there is little that can be done. Most people go there. Bruh, this stuff crazy, man. And this stuff really be happening, you know what I'm That's saying? That's sad that all this is on the dark web and just nobody's gonna report it. Like, why would you want to be a part of the damn dark web? Why would you want to put stuff on there? Why would you want to do stuff like this? This just made me sad. Yeah, I don't know why. Who recommended this again? Somebody recommended this? Or did I? Yeah, Wait. you shouted them out. I told you so. Oh, yeah. You told me to. <laughs> you ain't tell me to. I did it myself. Man, 2XJs, bro. You wanted me to watch this, bro? This just made me never want to use the internet this again. This is scary. People are sick, and it's literally people that be like normal people on a day to day. Like, it's, we go to, we go to freaking like McDonald's or something. The dude flip your burgers, the dude on the dark web. We ever go to McDonald's. I'm just saying, if we go to McDonald's or something, the dude flip your burgers on the dark web, buying pictures, or doing something weird. You know what I'm saying? Doing the red room thing. Participating in that or something. What red room? They said the red room is when they kidnap somebody, put them inside a room. And then like, it's like if we live stream. Oh, you decide what. what yeah, they decide what happens yeah. to the like the viewers decide. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. Y'all let me know the heck y'all in the comments and down below. And it just interrupted my spirit. That's why I tell you don't watch stuff like this. I'ma see y'all out. Cop a Jurag. Jurag.com. Buy two and three for your bundle up. Save yourself fifty dollars. We gotta go. All right. Goodbye. I guess. I was gonna ask y'all if y'all ever been on a dark web, but I. I Anyways, I guess it don't matter what I want. See y'all later, man. Hey yo, C3, so fly, hop out the butterfly. Wings to the sky, no, I'm never borderline. They choose I, cause I'm way above you. The waves make the haters love you when the ladies come through.